Manushi, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. Good to see you in a bright color, and this is in your new home. We are right. Yes. So you shifted from where to where? I shifted from one floor to the other. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, okay. that's it. That sounds it, but that's a lot of work. Firstly, and which part of the city? Why here? Uh, where do your parents go? Where do you go to work? Um. So all three of us go to different places to work. Um, obviously, this is somewhere central okay, for all yeah, of us. Is, right. um, I go towards Andheri, Film City. Uh, sometimes, if I'm lucky, Bandra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my father goes to uh, towards Kolaba. Right. He goes to Fort, and my mother goes to Navi Mumbai. Right. So we decided what is that one place which will be right in the center, center. which obviously sense. is far for all three of all us. Of <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's that's what uh, that's when we saw we saw the building. Actually, we really loved it. Mm. Uh, I think we came here three years ago, my father and I, and we absolutely fell in love with the area mm, and you know mm. we decided okay this is where we want to live right and uh, we've been living in this building for 3 years wow yeah and so if the viewers get any view this is mumbai and that's the sea this is a beautiful place that you you have so thank you good well done with that and if i take you back to your delhi life what yeah. was that like do you remember everything do you recall how life has changed first tell us what that was like delhi life so uh, i mean for the first 7 years of my life Uh, although i was born in rohtak okay. we lived in bangalore because okay. my father used to work for the minister like he works for the ministry of defense okay so he started in bangalore then he moved to delhi so all, obviously all of us moved with him uh, delhi is be has been where i've done my schooling okay after which i spent a year and a half in sonipat where i was studying medicine and but i mean i used to get so homesick that every weekend even if i had a one day holiday in the week i just run home, home. <laughs> i i think i I've, i've always been You're a home child yeah, yeah yeah i've been a home body and i've been like overly i think attached to my parents i used to just call my father ask him to pick me up and i think i moved to bombay obviously for the miss india pageant right. uh, i came here to compete as one of the finalists and uh, i stayed back hmm. because i had to prepare for miss world uh, after that and then after miss world so much work was happening in bombay for me that Mumbai became a base. Right. And my parents eventually agreed to Right. <laughs> move to Bombay. So during that during my Miss World year only I think 4 3 4 months into the Miss World pageant when I was living in Bombay alone, mm. you know I used to come back and I used to feel so lonely because mm. I used to feel what do I do? Who right. do I talk yeah. to? And I've always yeah. lived like I've had two siblings. I've always lived with so many people always having uh, so much of emotional right. dependency <laughs> on others. uh so i think that and and the fact that it was a new city i was only 20 right uh, i kind of reached out to my parents and i told them that it would be great if you guys could consider moving here and i think slowly you step by step. step you know they managed to shift right you know uh, what was the switch between going and studying medical and wanting to do something in that industry to yeah. suddenly the switch of uh, beauty pageant who all were a part of this i think uh, for me from a very young age uh the idea of wanting to compete at a beauty pageant was very vain i think i must have been 3 or 4 i don't even remember how old i was maybe a little older 4 or 5 mm. and i still remember this conversation happening around the film devdas mm. where uh, you know my parents were discussing something about oh you know uh, aishwarya and sushmita were miss world and miss universe mm. they won Uh, miss india mm. and then they represented and then the whole conversation about beauty pageant started and in my head i just i remember as a child the only image i had in my head was that you get a crown and that was such an attractive the thing for for a little right. girl yeah. you know who's yeah. who's grown up watching uh, princess stories reading right. like fairy tales i thought oh my god you get to be a real life princess mm. but i never paid much attention to that thought i think mm. after that i mean my life went how it was supposed to go right. uh, my parents are doctors and where i come from you are very much expected to you know get good marks mm -hmm. excel in mm -hmm. <laughs> academics and then uh, prepare for a uh, for an entrance exam right. uh, a competitive exam get a professional degree right. and then start working so that's that's like the basic expectation yeah. so obviously as i grew older i remember i was around 14 probably when i decided i wanted to be a doctor okay. like my parents right. Uh, all my friends wanted to be doctors mm. i thought the subject is very interesting mm. so that i mean that that was what my career choice right. at that time right. 
Uh, so you get to choose from uh, the pool of choices yeah, you have then. Absolutely. Uh, I always considered everything outside of studies to be as a hobby. <laughs> so right. I never thought I would make uh, a career out of it. Hmm. Uh, having said that, around I think I remember 2013, uh, the Miss World show hmm. was uh, playing on television. Okay. And I was scrolling through different channels and I happened to come across the show and I watched that. I watched, I think it was a two, two and a half hour episode. Okay. And that's when I realized that this is actually a platform, like mm. from what I used to think of it when I was a child. Right. Uh, you know, this is actually a platform which gives young women mm. a chance, a stepping stone to do whatever they're doing in a better manner. Okay. The experience, the experience of traveling, the experience of meeting so many people. Mm. And I knew that this is an experience that I wanted in life. I knew okay. this would add value to whatever I do right. later on. So I think that was the thought. And uh, I think uh, I always thought I'd compete after I finished college, mm -hmm. uh, after I finished my MBBS. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I was in a in a college fest, and that's when I think uh, there was something called as Campus Princess, where they were scouting mm. for talent from educational institutes. Okay. And I mean, that, that's where I got scouted. I auditioned mm. for Miss India, uh, one Miss India. I all I thought I'll go and get like a little bit of experience, and then mm. maybe compete later right. with that experience. But after I won, I said, okay, now this is, <laughs> it's right. all in, you know. Uh, so after after I won, then I was like, okay, let's just, let's just put college on a pause for a bit and prepare properly for Miss World. Right. So I keep taking you back because, yeah. you know, because it's so interesting. And so when you, when you came back home and said, okay, I am applying for Miss India and I'm yeah. going ahead with it. What did parents say? Were they okay with it? Because a lot of parents, I can imagine once you're in medical, they're like, finish this first. Like, <laughs> Not really. To be very honest, I think my parents have been the bigger contributor here. Wow. Uh, because they always knew that I was very much interested okay. uh, in, in the world of pageantry. And of course, the minimum age criteria was is 18. Mm. So I had to wait till I got 18. After I got 18, I was in a college. Right. So I, I thought in my head it would be easier if I finished my four and a half years of mm. MBBS. And mm. before internship, I thought I'll probably uh, go and try yeah. my hand at pageantry. I think a lot of support came from my mom, who very actively, even when the campus princess mm. happened, uh, you know, we that year they changed the format and they said we'll have one winner from each state yeah. to uh, encourage participation right. from different states. And I still remember, I told my mom, I said, you know, I can... I, I have to audition. I can either, either audition from uh, mm -hmm. Haryana or I can audition from Delhi. Okay. So what do I do? And I remember we were close to Sonipat and the audition was really close. Mm -hmm. So I think she was the one who encouraged me. She said, no, let's go. Uh, let's audition. I told her I'm not prepared. <laughs> how yeah, do, I don't yeah, know how yeah. to walk the ramp. Right. I don't know. I don't know all these things. I don't know how to do my own makeup and yeah. you know all those other things that you need to be uh, you know groomed for. Right. So. I think she gave me a lot of confidence and she said, no, nice. don't worry, huh. we'll figure it out. We had, I think, seven days between the audition and the zonals okay. uh, where she took me to a pageant uh, coach. I think she used to teach me a little bit of ramp walk, okay. uh, just okay. how to stand on stage, you right. know, just, just yeah. those, those little Small nitty gritties, things. you know, right. that had to be polished that you could do in uh, seven days. So I remember my mom took leave from work and she'd like go with me. And <laughs> uh, after that, she'd help me do my homework, you know, she'd practice with me. So I think a lot Amazing. of support came from yeah. their end. Hmm. That's really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I was watching your interviews yesterday. You somewhere said that I'm, I'm an introvert. You were an introvert or how does no. <laughs> a girl who is an introvert go, for, go and face the world at a beauty contest? I think that's the beauty of being someone who's shy and probably someone who's been fairly reserved throughout life. Okay. I feel somewhere I look at it as that the energy that I've saved <laughs> that I get to present it yeah. on stage. Oh, nice. um, I've always felt like a different person on stage. Hmm. I think uh, that was my one time where it felt like, you know, that that, that adrenaline rush that you get just before, uh, there's an excitement yeah. that builds just yeah. before you're about to do something adventurous. Right. It, it always felt like that. And that, that's a certain high that you always get. Right. I felt that in the zonals uh -huh. uh, of Miss India. And then, you know, it got better at Miss India and it got even better at Miss World. Right. Uh, as much as I would like to say I am an introvert, I am an introvert in real life. Okay. I don't think uh, I I speak as much and tell people as much about my life as I am right yeah, now. Right. Uh, but I enjoy, but there's a side of me that enjoys doing that on stage and that enjoys wow. doing that maybe in front of the camera. Right. Miss World is life changing. You know, yeah. it's, it is, uh, did your life change in what ways? You know, um, I've interviewed a lot of people. Uh, 
people who participated, people who have won. Um, you know, there's a, there's, I don't know if it's some kind of a training where there's, a, there's some kind of a responsibility. Everybody comes out and feels that I want to change the world. Hmm. Uh, everybody has good intentions, no yeah. doubt about that. Very few people end up doing that. Most hmm. of them become actors like yourself hmm. and many other before you also. When you won, what did you want to do firstly? I think when I won, I wanted the whole experience of one year. Okay. Um, of course, there is the whole mission and vision of a pageant such as Miss World hmm. is to raise funds for beauty with a purpose. Okay. That's what you are doing right. for that one year. Okay. So, uh, that is the goal that you need to have when right. you enter the pageant, hmm. which I, of course, was very fortunate enough to do at a very young age. Hmm. Having said that, uh, being an actor and not doing your little bit for society are not exclusive things you know you can yeah. you can be whatever you you can do whatever you want to and do you, you can, can be do. a part of any profession right. but at the same time you know you do your little bit and you right. uh, you know and i remember mrs uh, julia molly used to always uh, say this uh -huh. she said that you don't have to move mountains even if you can change one life right you know, that's more than enough. That's you don't right. have to, right. you're one person, you, right. you don't yeah. have to go around and think that it's my mission to change the world. Right. Uh, but she said, even if you can transform one life, you know, right. even if you can add value in any like minor, mm. minor way, I think mm. that is mo more than what most people do. Nice. Absolutely. Right. And when you won Miss World, what was the family, <laughs> siblings, cousins, friends, yeah. reactions? I think. Uh, see, for the first thing was everyone was so excited that a girl from our family was even participating right. in a pageant. Yeah. So they had all come to China. Yeah. And I still remember I was like searching and luckily China is right next to India. So the traveling Travel, was yeah, much easier. And you know, when I was even on stage, I was scanning the audience, you know, you try to find yeah, your parents. Yeah, yeah. But I just remember that finally when I reached the top five round, yeah. that's when I... I saw, I think they were interviewing, they were looking to interview parents okay. and they, they spotted mine and they came and they interviewed for the show, they inter just generally interviewed my family wow. and that's when I, you know, managed to spot them and I just remember for the first time in my life, the amount of pride I saw in my father's eyes, so nice. I was like, oh my God, I don't yeah. care if I win or not, yeah. this I have done. So Beautiful. I think, yeah, yeah, so I think a lot of excitement, a lot of, I remember when I went back to Delhi, you know, we celebrated it in such a North Indian manner. <laughs> there was, there was, there, there was bowl and, you know, yeah. uh, there was a full band that was, that was ready to welcome me. People were dancing on yeah. the streets. <laughs> I think that was, it was very nice to see people so happy <laughs> for something which, you always thought would be your victory, but you don't. You didn't realize that it would. That everyone would feel victorious right. about it. You know, is it once you win that and you see so much, you know, noise and tamasha around yeah. it, everybody's happy. <laughs> is there stress to maintain that? Like, you know, I have to be on top of the game now. There is a lot of uh, responsibility. There are a lot of expectations. Yeah. Also, you have big shoes to fill. Yeah. Uh, you've seen these other women, amazing women who've started from the same platform yeah, and done yeah. amazing things in yeah. life uh, where the expectation automatically becomes Increases, that you know you right. already have you already have that benchmark that you have to uh, you kind of live up to right um so of course there is a certain amount of pressure there are always there are constant eyes on you i remember right. i mean i was only 20 and i'd never <laughs> been in the public eye before yeah, so for yeah. me initially i felt that oh my god everything i do Everyone knows and it's always, yeah, I'm constantly yeah. being watched. True. If I'm going out for dinner with my parents, like there are people around who would, you know, come up and, you know, talk to me. So the, the very feeling, which it's very sweet, you know, the very yeah. feel, but the very feeling of wherever you go, there's no anonymity. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> takes that's a bit, true. It takes some time getting used to. Right, that's, you know, I was going to come to this later, but now that you brought it up, yeah. are you okay with this? Uh, you know, someone who again was an introvert, was a private person and all that, you're very confident on stage and on camera, but this brings people so close to your life. You <laughs> have you have a new house, I already read about it. So, oh. so everybody knows. <laughs> I did read about it. <laughs> so everybody knows everything that you're up to. Is, yeah. Are you okay with that fact? See, I feel that it would be wrong of me to say that I went to Miss World and I now I don't want to be popular and things right. like that. Um, obviously, you know, we didn't have a winner for the last 17 years. Yeah. So I never had first-hand experience of seeing what it would be like. I was three years old when 
Priyanka Chopra won Miss World. Yeah. <laughs> so I never had first hand experience of what a winner's life would be like, you right. know, how life would change. Right. For me, it was just a perception that, uh, you know, you get to travel and it's very different in India compared to mm. many other countries. You mm. know, I've, uh, of course, I'm so close to uh, the Miss World from the Philippines, the Miss World from South Africa right. and every country receives their Miss World in such a different manner. Okay. Here, the celebrity status, yeah, yeah. The, uh, you know, the, the popularity is yeah. another level and it's yeah, great. It's it great for, uh, you know, it's it's great for, for, uh, for us because you get celebrated in such an amazing manner amazing when you way. come here, which every Miss World would tell me, you know, every Miss World would always tell me this. They said, you know, when we went to our countries, it was, it was, sometimes it was nice, sometimes mm -hmm. it was okay. But they said, when we came to India, we felt like superstars. Superstars, right. <laughs> you know, the amount of love that, uh, that they all got. But, uh, you know, uh, having said that, I think I got, I had the realization of winning mm -hmm. when I came here, when I okay. saw everyone and I saw everyone uh, celebrate the way they were celebrating. Okay. And uh, for me, it was it was really overwhelming in mm. a nice manner. Right. Um, after which, of course, it took some time getting used to because I was so used to like, you know, doing my own thing. Mm. I, I when I was in college, sometimes if I wanted to come home and my father was too busy to pick me up, mm. I would just hop onto a Haryana roadways bus and come. I said, oh shit, I can't do that now. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that again. Do not use that line. I said, oh no, I can't do that now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so you know that that feeling was uh, was there that I said, ah, oh, my anonymity yeah. is gone. Yeah, I could like just yeah. sit and do whatever, right. which I mean I still do. It's not that uh, the lucky thing lucky thing about being in Bombay is that Bombay is still very chilled out. Yeah, it is. Things. It is yeah. absolutely. You can really do your own thing. Who do you see in this industry, like hmm. beauty pageant winners, Miss World, yeah. Miss Universe? Do you see that, you know, they've achieved a lot, like they've gone right, I would like to do something like that. Like, you know, in, like Priyanka was there. Have you, have you ever met her? Have you spoken to her? I have met Priyanka Chopra once. Huh. Um, and I feel that as a child growing up, I always really admired hmm. her confidence. I think she's very unapologetic about herself and that's what I love. Hmm. I think she is uh, not allowed anything to ever bring her down. Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, you know, even if, uh, I think she's overcome uh, ev everything in life and yeah. she's, she's achieved so much, yeah. you know, professionally and personally. So I do look up to her a lot. Yeah. I think uh, I, I do admire her and her journey. <laughs> uh, funny thing, she's, she's also been in this world. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, you know, big shoes to fill. Big shoes to uh, fill, yeah. But I feel everyone has their own journey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, life and the definition of a good life and a successful life is different from is different for everyone yeah. uh, for me I think life is a whole hmm. I think it's about a, a combination of many things it's, right. a, it's a combination of uh, the relationships that you build in your yeah, life yeah. Uh, it's a combination of uh, how much you work on yourself as an individual it's right. a combination of your experiences in life right. and it's a combination of you know uh, how well you do professionally uh, right. too so I think a combination of all of this would somewhere make me feel uh, that for me that 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 is what life is not yeah. just one aspect. one aspect so the world sees one aspect yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think we as individuals are working on many aspects right then comes acting yeah. Was the industry welcoming? Is it easy? Was it easy? Compared to an outsider, hmm. yes, I had a platform such as Miss World, hmm. which gave me a lot of visibility. But still an outsider, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah still an outsider, yeah. you know, getting used to uh, just n not knowing people, yeah. I think, and getting used to a different culture altogether. Right. And of course, you know, uh, also trying to settle into a new city. Yeah. And uh, there was a lot of interest from people in general. Okay. So I think yeah. somewhere, you know, people do want to launch you hmm. because you are fairly popular and hmm. it is an exciting launch yeah. uh, for them as well. They all want to cash in on your popularity. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I think uh, that is a good thing that happened with me, which uh, as opposed to an outsider who, didn't, who, who wouldn't have a platform such as Miss World. Right. Uh, having said that, there are uh, different challenges obviously you face. You are settling into a new city. Yeah. Um, you're not just here to explore an industry, but you're also uh, trying to make sure that, you know, you're you're able to survive mm. in a new city. You know, mm. you, you have, you know that you have to mm. uh, shift everything. You have to have a home. You have your own bills to pay. So I think those, those are little things that, you know, you, you as an outsider, someone who's not from Bombay, yeah. uh, have to also focus on. It's not, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. just, you can't just be passionate about something and True. just you know, decide to uh, 
completely you know you have other responsibilities right. too and obviously you you're fairly new to the culture right i've seen a very 9 to 5 uh, <laughs> you know i've seen very 9 to 5 uh, kind of a very routine right. uh, life mm. and here it's you know some days you're working for 12 14 hours yeah, some yeah. days then suddenly few days you're free mm. uh, so there's a lot of self discipline that you need right. uh, in the industry so i think getting used to it also has been uh, Uh, a bit of a, a task right. uh, but at the same time talking about the industry i think the industry is has been fairly uh, welcoming okay. uh, i remember there were a lot of people who were interested in launching uh, and of course amongst all of that uh, you know yash raj happened yeah. and yeah. my first film happened uh, but deal, but, yeah, <laughs> but i think i think that that's about it i yeah, think that so. that excitement of launching mm, uh, right. the new face or the yeah. excitement of launching this new girl who's become popular right. helps you get your first film and then yeah. you have to kind of figure then it out on your own then you're back exactly then you yeah. again you know um, firstly you spoke about coming to mumbai this girl comes to mumbai with you know with you said that you didn't have anyone here now this place where you live you see a very different side of mumbai yeah. nobody has time for anyone everybody is just <laughs> working rushing home going to office is mumbai welcoming was mumbai easy for me bombay initially was very exciting i think the very fact that being a girl i felt so safe in a city where right. i constantly had to go to the airport to catch i catch flights nice. at odd hours yeah. i was working so much traveling so from from that perspective bombay was quite refreshing nice. of true. course the traffic is <laughs> <laughs> awful yeah. uh, but uh, you know like you mentioned looking at a very different part of bombay yeah. what i love about bombay is that there is everything imaginable in just this one little box of a city mm, you know mm. um whenever you go out you will see all kinds of people right. you know there there is you have bomb you you know you have uh bombay has been the finance capital yeah, of yeah. the country mm. you have the film industry yeah. uh you i remember like in i in andheri you always come across people who are from the artistic yeah. uh, field here mostly people are into finance, finance yeah. uh so i think bombay has just so many different things to offer and mm. what i love about the city is everyone's always hustling everyone's yeah, always yeah, working yeah. you can land at i remember sometimes i used to land at like 1 am to am in the night and on my drive from the airport to home i would still see so many people yeah. working uh 3 am 4 am you know people would be Uh, 4 a.m. There are people. There are vegetable vendors yeah. who are who are getting <laughs> yeah. ready and Milk, starting to <laughs> starting to you know uh, sell uh, their goods. I think uh, Bombay is so happening and so exciting. Yeah, and uh, so if for a for a person who's young and who's ambitious, mm. Bombay is a great environment to be right. in. There's mm. so much opportunity. Mm. At the same time. Uh, it it is also a little tough right. you know you can you can't yeah. be laid back you yeah. can't you can't uh, be laid back here and you can't be chill here yeah yeah that yeah. you know then comes to to keep getting movies yeah is that tough of course i think every time you finish a project the fact that you don't know uh what you're going to be doing next mm. uh the fact that you don't know when which when will you be paid next how right. much will you be paid next it's it's always go it's also volatile it's always mm. going up and down and up and down right. so i think uh, that kind of keeps you on your toes constantly right. uh every time you finish a project there's always the attempt to figure out what what you're supposed to do next there's no natural growth here right. you know there's, there's no, no <laughs> there's no you know you'll get promoted yeah. <laughs> in some time hota right. rahega right. you have to keep making that effort right realistically and honestly did you get what you wanted from your first film honestly yeah <laughs> <laughs> see obviously i didn't okay uh and that is a that's a big learning that you know i've had hmm. i think somewhere after i won miss world because the the peak that i saw yeah. uh that that was also very different see that's one winner uh yeah. amongst many and that that one girl who will be there for a year obviously it doesn't it life is not so right. you know if your profession is not so there will there'll be so many people so right. uh the competition is so different yeah uh, having said that uh for me i think the film got pushed so much yeah. um i worked I remember I gave it my best, so right. that that's a good that's thing because yeah do. yeah that that's one regret that I do not have uh, because I was not sitting in the theater and thinking oh ये मैं ऐसा कर लेती वैसा कर लेती you always feel that you can do better of course that feeling is always there you always feel that you could have done better uh, but at that but time you did your at best. that time I know that yeah. I I gave it my all right but uh, it didn't do as well as we all yeah. thought it would or right. as well as you know I would have wanted it to right um but I think. 
that was that was maybe a little disappointing after okay. waiting for so long and yeah, suddenly the film yeah. to uh, not do as well huh. but at the same time i think the good thing is that i got such a good experience right. and that i got such a big realization that this is now life you know yeah. uh, you will have films that will do well you'll have films that will not do well yeah. uh, probably more films might not do well looking at the success ratio yeah, yeah. of We've the seen, industry yeah. you know but uh, i think i think what you have to do is you have to keep working, keep working. and you right. have to like what you are doing right you know say for example say an akshay kumar he's seen many hits and flops of late to more yeah. flops than hits but for you this must have had a bigger impact than say an akshay kumar who's seen the circle well that's because life has spoiled me right that's because i i've been so spoiled that i in my head started thinking that i can do anything and whatever i do i'll probably you know achieve it and achieve. that that was a certain confidence mm. or overconfidence that somewhere i might say uh, where see uh, and i mean i mean uh, not not talk calling it overconfidence particularly but i think that you know in my head i thought that if you work hard towards something mm. you know the results will always be in your right. favor right. Uh, i remember you know school you know studied hard mm. uh, got the marks that i wanted nice. prepared for an entrance cleared that entrance mm. uh after which just prepared for miss india mm. didn't surprisingly won miss india right. uh, then miss world so i always thought okay if you keep working hard things will always you know always, uh, okay. always work out and this time i worked really hard and this, is a and this was this was an okay response this is a very different ball game but, <laughs> but again you know but this, you know that teaches you about life yeah. and that teaches you the fact that you have to do your part yeah. the result is not, is in, your not in your hands it's not in your hands absolutely yeah. especially here yeah. you know uh, but are you someone say a film didn't work are you someone who will be like i'm done i want to go back to delhi i don't want to do this i use that or you you're a fighter I would like to think I'm a fighter. Yeah. I am here. <laughs> right. I did spend a year in lockdown not knowing when my film will release, not right. knowing what other film I'll do. I mean right. the film industry was shut. Yeah, yeah. So no yeah. one was shooting. I mean right. but still I'm still here and I'm still fighting and yeah. I'm still trying for more opportunities. Right. So you have a film with Varun Tej, you have a film with John. Yeah. Which one comes first? What comes next? Um so I think both of them have to announce their release date. Okay, Hopefully enough. both of them will come by the end of the year. You're done with both of them. You're done I'm, shooting with No, no, no. I'm I'm still I think uh, technically the uh, Tehran should release first. Okay. Uh that's the shoot that I finished. Hmm. I'm still shooting for Operation Valentine. Right. <laughs> Hi I'm Anushi Chilla and you're watching this on Bollywood Hangama